Brought to you in part by Monadnock Flooring and Decorating, offering quality sales, service, and installation for over 35 years on Production Avenue next to Subaru of Keene. Hey everybody, welcome. I'm Luca Paris and welcome on a culinary journey. I have two good friends of mine that we just, we bonded. We really did, I'm telling you. It's Tommy and Joelle. Hi guys. Hi. Hey. How you doing? <laughs> it's a camera. It's on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, so let, let, listen. Where are you guys from? Tell me where you're from. I'm from Boston. Okay, no, wh why are you here? <laughs> We're on the Nobles food trip. Yes, Nobles food, food trip. trip. <laughs> and they're going all around Keene and they've done, this is the third year in a row that had someone from your school on here mm -hmm. and probably the two smartest people that have ever been on my show most likely okay um best we'll see we'll see how it goes best looking, too. best looking yes not a takeaway from you no no uh, yes it, it's again my show <laughs> anyway well joelle and tommy are going to work with me to make a veal dish we're taking veal we're going to stuff it with some ham and scarmozza you know what that is right Course. Okay, good. Because you're going to tell us later. I want a 20 minute dissertation on it. Okay. And what, what we're doing is pretty, pretty much like a ham and cheese stuffed roll of yumminess. And we're going to do some mushrooms. And then, either of you know who Marianne Esposito is? Say yes. So go ahead. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes I do. Mm -hmm. Marianne Esposito and I worked together and we did this cool thing with uh, a bruschetta bread, but I'm going to pan fry it. And then we're going to pan fry that same cheese that we're adding inside the veal. Ooh. That's it. That's what we're doing. We're going to have a mushroom lemon sauce. We, it's going to be a lot of fun. They're going to help out. And I guess there's nothing left, but your culinary journey starts now. now. Back to a culinary journey. We have a live audience. Who wants to applaud. <laughs> Nobles High School in Boston is coming back to visit us this year, and we have Tommy and Joelle with us, and we're making a veal scallopini dish that's going to be a roulade, mushrooms, and all this good stuff. So we have to get started, right? All right. First thing we need to do is pound out this veal. Tommy, what's your job? I gotta get the wraps of Joelle. Can Man, go you sound crazy. so excited about that, buddy? The I am. I really am. Like I really building. am. All right. You want to come all the right way over here? All the way. All the way. All right. And you need to leave yourself a little room. So I'll hold this. You know why we're doing this, Joel? I get to pound out the veal. Right. And actually, tell me, <laughs> I got a great idea. I can Don't, just wrap. No, yeah, we're going to put it right over there. All right. We're going to take our veal. These are veal medallions that have been a little bit tenderized Not already, yet. but I want to pound it out. Yeah, wait, Tommy. <laughs> he jumps the gun. I'm getting all excited the time. now. You don't want to be more I excited about it. I know. Relax. Chill out. It's okay. Tommy's going to sing for us later. He doesn't know that yet. Oh, he does now, but let's get it. All right, fold it over the top. Try and, uh, I see you make your bed really well too, don't you? No, so why are we doing this though, you know? Why would we wrap the top and the bottom? So it doesn't get stuck to the... Wood. That's one, and the other reason is because we do it once, they get it in the face. <laughs> Which maybe we should be doing. Yeah. All right, so I want you to use uh, what we call the typewriter technique. Okay. Wait, you don't know what a typewriter is. Eight track tapes, no, anyway. <laughs> so funny. I, this is how I learned. Basically, it's the way a typewriter would work, is you pound, and then you come back to the beginning, and then you pound. So this way, we're kind of working our way down, getting it nice and, instead of like this kind of random bit. So that's your job. Ready? Ready. Go. She's going to pound out the veal scallopini. It's going to do two things. It's going to make it nice and even, and don't put your finger in the way. What do you, no. <laughs> She's got a lot of thought process into this. She's going to pound out our veal scallopini. While she's doing that, Tommy, I need you to cut me some mushrooms. I can so, do that. And I'm going to show you. I'll, let me get a mushroom. Uh, wait, ho, hold on. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, no, I feel bad. We're ready. <laughs> All right. Just take Tommy, it Tommy and I are going to cut a mushroom. And Tommy, I want to show you what I'm going to do. Ready? So you're going to take the bottom off just a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right? Then you're going to flip it on its side. You know why? Because mushrooms are round and they like to roll away if you don't do that, right? So we're just going to take the bottom off a little bit. And using your fingers, we're going to do a knife class here because Tommy apparently is the knife technician. Yeah, <laughs> very true. What I'm, using my fingers as a guide, I'm going to go down 
in a rocking motion like that. And then when okay. I'm halfway, wait, 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 it gets better. I flatten it out. This is, uh, this is really, and then I'm going to go down again. And then my knife's actually going to stay on the board. How's that look? That but my great. fingers are the gut, yeah? Yeah. That's, a, that's the first time I ever cut a mushroom. Perfect. All right. You're running out of room? Yeah. Um, no, you'll oh. do fine. It'll, okay. it'll move over. It's all right. Good luck. Cut it. Always make sure you're working with a flat surface, Tommy. We only have a half hour on the show, so take it all the time you there want. There we go. All right. So we're going to stop this. And she's, he's getting coaching from the audience, for those of you who don't, haven't watched. <laughs> so we are pounding out our veal. And we're getting our mushrooms ready, and we're going to be stuffing them. Good job, though. That's awesome. All right, good. Uh, no, that's okay if it's coming out a little bit. Okay. All right. All right. Uh oh, what'd you do? Ooh. Use the wrong side? Yeah, Is I tenderized that, it too. You tenderized it too? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> that's what I wanted you to do. All right, so we're going to unwrap it. Tommy, take your time. These ones look better than yours. I know. <laughs> Whoa, now. <laughs> Apparently, Tommy will be back for the second segment. <laughs> All right, so the other thing we want to do here, I want you to take a piece of ham. This is uh, Florida Lee ham. And you're going to take about the same amount of size that would be on there, right? Okay. All right? And you're going to take a little bit of this. This is called Ariosto. It's my own private spice blend. Well, you could buy it at my restaurant. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> and you're going to season, too. Then you're going to put the ham on. Okay. All right? So you want to season each ingredient you're doing, and we're going to put that like that. Sounds good? Sounds good. All right, you do that. I'm going to get us our cheese on the other side of Tommy here. Those are beautiful. Thank you very much. How many do you want me to do? Uh, the whole thing. All right. It's a good way to keep you quiet the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here. I'll, I'll add some to it. <laughs> I only need about two more, Tommy. Okay. That's all we need. This is scamozza. And during the break, Joel was telling me all about it. It's a dry style of mozzarella. This is actually made by my brother. If anybody wanted to know, my brother owns a, a deli in Rockland, and he makes his own mozzarella like I did. We grew up together. Um, <laughs> we grew up together. There's a shocker. I grew up with my brother. <laughs> the stuff you learn on my show. Did you grow up with anybody? My brother. Nice. <laughs> my brother? Uh, a brother. Your a brother. brother. Your brother. Yeah. No, my brother. Because that would be weird. Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right, because uh, I didn't recognize you at all, because you grew up with the same guy I did. Anyway, scamozza is a, is a yellow curd mozzarella, basically, and what it is is a dry mozzarella, very much like that. And the way we used to make it, too, and he still does, uh, you make it like you make homemade mozzarella, and if you've been watching my show, you've watched me make homemade mozzarella. If you haven't, <laughs> episode 592. Um, you would then take it and hang it. That's why you have this little knot at the top. Hang it with rope one on each side, and they start drying after you've cured them in some salt brine. And it's a wonderful, uh, if you like provolone, light, light provolones, uh, those type of cheeses, it's a great cheese to work with. And uh, we just recently, I, I just recently brought this up because Marianne Esposito was in town, and we did a demo together, and she wanted to do the scamozza uh, bruschetta. So I made those happen. How are my guys doing over there? Tom, you doing all right? You doing I'm doing all right? great. I'm done. You're good. All right, so by, because of that, I wanted to do that today, and my two friends here are going to help me. Now, the scamozza is going to go inside like this, right there. These might be a little thick. Let me cut these a little bit thinner, and, or we'll do small pieces like this. And they, it does take a little bit to melt, but that's okay. We're going to work that out, and we're going we're gonna to put them inside the veal. Right, so this is what's going on. Tommy's cutting up mushrooms for our veal sauce. I'm, I have Joel here placing our cheese on our veal, and we're going to make veal roulades or involtini, roulatini, involtini, all that kind of stuff. Just means rolled veal. And then I'm going to start getting ready. Like that? Nice. Yeah, three pieces is good. And then put another three pieces. And I'm going to start getting ready the cheese for our bruschetta. Now, let's reorganize. We'll take a quick little break. When we come back, we'll start cooking up the veal, get our bread. Tommy's going to finish those last three mushrooms, so we'll be back in about an hour. And when we... <laughs> We get back Tommy's rendition of his favorite song here on a culinary journey. Don't go away. You cannot miss him singing. Oh boy. We'll be right back. Hey everybody, welcome back to a culinary journey. They gotta work on their clapping technique. Yeah. Let's go, let's hear it. Let's hear it for Tommy and Joel, everybody. Yeah. All right. Ow. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so she tripped. Anyway, welcome back to a culinary journey. I got Tommy and Joel with me. We're making veal rollatini with scamozza, 
and uh, Florida de Lee ham. We have a little bit of our Ariosto. These are all on the test later when you get back to school. That's what I heard, so you have to make sure you're taking notes. All right, so you guys go to Nobles, which is right outside Boston or in Boston? It's in Dedham. Okay, which is somewhere near Boston. <laughs> Like I was saying, I have no, no idea. And were you both seniors or? Uh, we're going to be juniors. You're going to be you're sophomores? Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess that was good. I like figured that out. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so what are you going to do? What's, you have a career plan? Not yet. No? You want to be a TV talk show host? I think so. Nice. I thought so. This is why we're doing this. What are you going to do, Tommy? You know? Uh, it's a little bit unsure right now, but I think I might be joining her on her talk show. Oh, okay. Yeah. We sort of have a plan worked yeah. out. Oh, we have, we have no idea what we're going to do. <laughs> That's right. Guess what? I'm, I'm a lot older. I still don't know what I want to do with the rest of my life. So there you go. We're, it, it, trust me, it doesn't get any easier than this. Anyway, this is what we're going to do. We're going to be cooking up some of the veal. Now, I started rolling one of these. Joelle's going to roll the rest. Tommy is going to cut us up some bread for our bruschetta, which is really awesome. So maybe I should turn the pan on. That usually helps a little bit. Kind of searing. Just like a burrito, she's folding in the insides a little bit to hold it together. And all those fingers, wow, they, you're pretty good at that. Yeah. You like work at Subway or something? I just have a lot of natural talent. Yes. Natural. <laughs> but can you sing? Tommy could sing. Tommy could sing. We're really going to keep going back I, I to this one, sing. aren't we? Every time we go to break, he goes, when am I going to sing? I don't know. I, we'll find <laughs> out. All right. <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, you're never going to live this down. Hey, those are great. A lot of natural talent. Those are, yes. But, and singing, too. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So what I have here is some whole wheat flour, and I'm going to dredge them just a little bit. And by dredging it, I'm going to protect it and help keep tenderize. Plus, it's going to help us do what? Do you know what the flour is going to help us do? Uh, keep it combined. Crust. Oh, crust. Yes, crust. crust. Or it helps the sauce thicken later on, okay. too. That's exactly what we meant. Oh, yeah. Boy, rehearsals didn't go very well, as you can <laughs> see. Now, we got, we got a couple of things working there. Uh, we're going to sear these off and then cook them through. What's great about veal, especially veal that's been tenderized and beaten to a pulp, like Joel did over here, it's going to cook quick. And that's what I like about this. Now, let's say you're not a fan of veal and you wanted to make these in voltini. Another thing you could do, too, is pork. Do pork scallopini really nice and thin. You, can, you want me to get rid of that so, last one for yeah. you? Yeah. You get ready? All right. <laughs> Oh, we need to let, let that heat up a little bit more. We need to talk more. I figured your conversation about what you're doing with the rest of your life was going to be longer. <laughs> Apparently it wasn't. Um, and then what are you doing in school right now? Do you take cooking classes? Mm -hmm. uh, no. 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 <laughs> Did you fail that class? Is that why you're saying no or no? It just didn't really yeah. fit into the schedule oh, yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're working now, on it. Now, <laughs> your, your school comes to Keene every year, and you go visit a lot of really nice places, Stonewall Farm, uh, you're staying at Allison's Apple Orchard, a lot of yeah. cool places like that. Uh, what, so what have you experienced so far? I know it's early in your week. Uh, we some of the cool stuff. Well, the first day we got here, we, um, what did we do the first day we got here? We stopped by the farm, checked out a couple of animals, saw horses, cows, goats. That was fun. And then, um, it's, it's a lot for you city folk, right? I mean, that's, yeah. is that try, it's like, wow, first time, not on TV, I saw a cow. <laughs> What are you doing over there? What else you told me to dice. Oh, I did. When did I tell you that? I told you uh, a little while ago. <laughs> <laughs> she's getting right to it. She's like, why are we talking? We're here to cook. <laughs> Let's cook. Joel, you keep dicing. Okay. No, I really, I'm kidding. I just, I didn't want to leave you out of the conversation. Oh, I'm So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you out really quick. Okay? okay. You want to hold from the back. There you go. And then down and be very careful. Impressive. Wow. We try to be a blood-free zone at all times. Good job. Those will work. That's all I need. Okay. Don't go any more than that. Tommy and I are scared at the moment. <laughs> all right. So the other thing we're doing over here on this side, hopefully that's the one. So on the nonstick pan, I'm searing my veal on this side, right? On this side, I'm doing a nonstick pan, and I'm going to sear my bread. All right. You ever, you ever just cook bread in a pan? Mm -mm. Not French yet. toast. French oh, French toast. I was so <laughs> waiting for that. They do <laughs> teach you a lot at your school. All right. We're searing it. Hopefully, uh, as the meat sears, it's going to shrink a little, right? Mm -hmm. So that's going to kind of hold this together because we are we're going to try to not eat. <laughs> we're going to try to not eat the wood skewers. They're just not as. Yeah, I've tried it before. Those were college days. They get really rough. You eat anything. <laughs> you want. All right. So we're going to sear those, get those cooking, and then I'll pop them in the oven for a little bit while we make our sauce. 
But I'm going to show you real quick what we do over here. Tell me, right. I'm going to need your bread. And I don't know if you've seen one of my episodes where I made a shark like crouton. Have you ever seen that episode? I did, actually. Yeah. It's my um, favorite one. I, I, <laughs> funny. It was your only one. I get it. I, I, I got that joke. But you're going to watch this one over and over again, aren't you? Of course. Of course, yeah. So I got to tell you, though. So we are, we're on YouTube also, right? So we're all across the country, over 3 million potential viewers wow. on, um, on cable access country. Uh, Cable access stations across the country, over 3 million. That means six people watch us, but that's a whole different story. That being said, except in Keene, they all watch me. This is the best station ever. That being said, on YouTube, our biggest views come when your school comes on. No way. Yeah, so now if you want to beat the biggest views ever, that's from two years ago, you're going to have to make sure everybody watches your show. Okay? Okay. All right. I get ten dollars every time yeah. someone watches I think the show. Do, that. do you really? No. Oh, no. <laughs> no, unless you plan on sending me ten dollars every time. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna pan sear our, our bread, and they're perfect. They're about an inch thick. He, they absolutely couldn't ask for a better cut. That was like the best knife skills I've ever seen on this show, Tommy. Well, thank you very much. And from what I hear, they're only second to your singing. singing oh my God. Yes. <laughs> You know it's going there. We're going there, buddy. We're going there. All right. We seared in the goodness, and we made a nice little crust. Uh-oh. This one wants to get away from me. With the veal. Oh, wait. Oh, this is good stuff. So it's going to be absolutely good. yummy. We'll pop that in the oven. We're going to turn this down a little bit and tell me I need those mushrooms. Oh, wait. You gave them to me already. Yeah, there they are. are. I need those shallots, first of all. You want to get those shallots right in there? Yeah. All right, so this is where we're at. We're going to add the shallots. We're going to add the mushrooms. Yes. Take a look at this Other bread, end. this seared bread. Cool you guys yeah. working on those shallots? Oh, you're good. Teamwork. Put, put one at a time. Ma it's no, like, no, 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 no. It's a half hour show. <laughs> Go right ahead. <laughs> They're really doing one at a time. Well, you can do it, but I can't. No, you did the. You had the knife end going in towards your hand. I would. I would have been fine. <laughs> I would have been fine. <laughs> Anybody else watching this with anticipation to see what happens? <laughs> I really wish I was in the audience right now. All right, we got some shallots. Hey, you know what this stuff on the bottom is? That's uh, veal. That, yeah, there's veal and bread. This is, well, oh. what's called fond, which is the foundation of any good sauce, right? This fond has so much flavor in it, and I leave it in the pan. I don't try and clean it out. So I had the oil that's in there. I'm, I have my shallots in there. I'm going to add some mushrooms to this, right? This is real simple. I'm going to add that Ariosto spice blend to that. I don't want to do too much. I just want to cook those down. So now... The mushrooms are going to cook down with the shallots, and we're going to add two more things to that. But before we do that, we'll get our crispy bread. Look at these perfectly cut bread Thank by you very Tommy. Much. Tommy Two Tone. <laughs> you, guys, you know who that is? I do know who yeah, that I is. Did. I thought you would. That's awesome. All right, I'm not going to do the good part until we get back. All right, the good okay. part is making this thing really come together as a sauce. So we're going to take a quick break. Tell me you're on your second verse of the song you're working on? Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to remember all the lyrics in my head. Okay, <laughs> once he comes up with all the lyrics, I tell you, we're not going to hear anything from him today. But in case we do, <laughs> don't go away, because it's going to be amazing. The best song ever. We'll be back on American... <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. We'll be back on a culinary <laughs> journey in a minute. Don't go away. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm sorry, we're playing Pass It On, apparently. I don't know. Welcome back to A Culinary Journey. You get a plug. It's the Tommy and Joel Show. Or Joel and Tommy? Yeah. JT mm. Show in the house. I promise I wouldn't do that the last time you guys were here. I did it again. Anyway, welcome again. Um, what are we making, Joel? Veal scallopini with bread that has been toasted and cheese and a mushroom sauce. Dude, you're good. good. Yeah, impressive. Wow. All right, so we have our mushrooms cooking down with our fawn and our shallots. Expertly cut mushrooms. Amazingly cut shallots. A little, a little scary how they got in the pan, but we'll, <laughs> you know, that's a whole other topic. And we're going to add in some Madeira wine, right? I had a lot more, but Tommy and Joel drank it all. <laughs> and just for your benefit, there's a little impressive. fire. Do you have the extinguisher? Uh, no, yeah, I great. Maybe I should have asked you earlier. <laughs> So anyway, what we're doing is adding some alcohol to our pan. That's going to deglaze the bottom of the pan. See, remember all that stuff that's on the bottom? Tons of flavor. And then we're going to put in some butter. 
and finish that sauce. Now while the butter is melting down, I'm going to run in here and get us some veal. Oh. When did I get that accent? I don't know. But <laughs> <laughs> I think I better stop now because I can't do accents. And I'm going to put it back in here because the veal's cooked through. We're going to add it to our sauce and it's going to be yummy. All right? So Does that look good? Yeah. 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 That's the first good meal I've made. All right, I'm going to shut that off because the, the butter is actually going to start to thicken that sauce or bring that sauce together because we had that flour in there too. All right, last thing we want to do. Tell me, I need some lemon from you, bud. I can get you a nice yeah. one right here. Oh, good job. No, this is her. This is what this, she's doing. Come on, Tommy. So yeah, just cut it? You need to cut it, yes. Perfect. Just in half. Cut the lemon in half. This way? No. No, the other way. <laughs> no. I'm wow. Watch your fingers. Audience interaction all of a sudden. Oh, we're all scared to see what happens. I really need to work on those. Okay. Disclaimer things. All right. Okay, the other way. That way? Awesome. All right, you know what? Don't do it onto the table. No, no, no yeah, not onto the table. I wasn't going to do it. But when we get closer, table. I want you to put it into our sauce. Okay. okay. Sounds good? Perfect. All right, the last thing I want to do is cook up our cheese for our bread. I want to make sure the bread pieces. Notice I have my own cutting board as far away from the two of them as possible. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's the way to do it. These cheese pieces, what's great about the scum matzo too is that it's, it's a cheese that's hard enough. Like if I tried to do this with fresh mozzarella, it actually would start melting way too quick. But I want to sear the cheese so I could put it on the bread. How many pieces do I need? How many pieces? Those are five, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, Apparently, I didn't do too well in school. <laughs> I don't want to tell you where I went. Do you want to know where I went to school? Where did you go to school? I went to public school in the Bronx. Really? Yeah. Isn't that scary? No. No? no. <laughs> Wait. You didn't, live in, you didn't live in my public school area. <laughs> it was pretty scary. All right. So we're going, to sear the <laughs> we're going to sear it on both sides. Oh, we need one of these things. Those flat thingy, flippy things. What are they called? Spatula. Nice. Thank you. All right. And you want it to sear and get kind of like a little crust, but not too much. Let's see how we do it. Oh, those are perfect. Quick turn. <laughs> well, let's go that way. <laughs> that way. Oh, look at that. So it starts to melt, right? Let's turn this off. It starts to melt, and this is, comes out so good. Tommy, somewhere around here. Oh, it's over here. Don't worry about it. You're good. All right. Now, what I need you guys to do, oh. Tommy, your job is to take these, right? Yep. And get them onto those. Get them onto those. Perfect. Oh. Don't burn yourself. And we are going to do one more thing before I get some lemon into my sauce, because we're going to take our <laughs> What's going on? No. What's he using the knife it's, for? It's stuck. Didn't you take the knife it is away stuck from He had an Seriously. extra. Seriously. There we go. He's got too many on his side. He scares me. <laughs> Here I am. I give him the biggest knife I have, and we all panic. All right. How are you doing? Wait, how long are you going to hold that lemon for? Until you're ready for me to squeeze it. You're good. <laughs> That's how, I kind of wish either my kids or my wait staff listened to me the way you would listen to me. This is awesome. Although the shallots kind of started real quick. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. So here we go. I'm opening up the veal. Oh, does that look nice? That you did that. Amazing. That looks really you good. You did that. That's awesome. I'm like confused. I don't know what to use now. Tommy's using all my good stuff. Oh, great job, Tommy. You doubted me at the beginning. Not, never. Never. <laughs> I would, Ooh. no doubt, that's a group. They sing really well, too. No doubt from the 80s. Remember them? Gwen Stefani. Nice. That's what Tommy said. He wants to sing uh, Keep It Down Now, Voices Carry, or something like that. All right. <laughs> is that what you want to sing, Tom? Um, yeah, it is, actually. Have you, no, have you picked a song? Because you've been teasing us this whole show. Still thinking about it. Still thinking. <laughs> Oh, boy. Does he do this all the time? All the time. All right. All right. Our veal and voltini. Okay, what are you doing with the lemon? In the sauce. In the sauce. Get it in the sauce. Quick. Uh-oh. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Yeah! Oh, no! Come on! Gerard! I got it! Oh, oh, my God. Man, did that hurt. I'm in pain. <laughs> That was beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love a little bit of lemon. Citrus goes great yeah, with everything. It just pops everything. Put this by your knife. It just makes it happen. Hey, you know what? One of the cool things when you're cooking, citrus goes a long, long way because that little acidity kind of opens up your taste buds mm -hmm. when you bite into it, and then everything else follows, changes everything. So let's put those on the plate. Talking about a little bit of acidity, 
We got a little balsamic glaze over here. And you're going to just drizzle that on top of there. Oh, that's We're going to put some thyme, fresh thyme. Well, actually, this is dry thyme, but don't tell anybody. It looks fresh from over there. Yeah, right. let's move it over. <laughs> a little bit closer. Drizzle, go, go crazy. OK, that's going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, a lot of parents are going, I wish my kid would go that crazy. <laughs> Woo, it's crazy. Oh, crazy. <laughs> And then we're going to put some mushrooms on. Oh, yeah. man, oh, man, oh, man. What do you guys think? If you want to go crazy. I'm Did it right? Crazy. Look at Tommy going crazy. Watch Tommy go crazy. Tommy, that's too crazy. It's Tommy, that's way too crazy. <laughs> it's I'll Tommy. have that one. I'll have that one. You're totally cut off. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, it was totally a pleasure, an honor, and a lot of fun. Because I know you're going to clean up my mess afterwards. We made our, our stuff. You made it all. Joelle, you did this part. And then you did the mushrooms and almost cut yourself. And then <laughs> put all this balsamic <laughs> vinegar on top of it. But it, it, wasn't that easy? Now let's it was. Hopefully yeah. it tastes good. What would you want to try? OK, so we're almost done. The bread. I'm, the bread, thank you. And you want to try the I really want to try that, yeah. All right. So um, if you brought, did you bring the $10 each to try? No, you didn't. <laughs> no. <laughs> there you go. We're going to try bread, and we're going to try veal. And I hope you had a good time, because I had a great time with Tommy and Joel from Nobles. You guys rock. Right there. Right there. Do it one more time. Well, Turkey. All right. <laughs> I'm 10. That's cold. Right, guys. Yeah, yeah, we're the good. show after all. Wasn't that good? Go, you didn't sing, bro. That's, That's true. Hey, That's we, true. You, know, you sing, no turkey. <laughs> all right. I hope you had a good time. We'll see you next time on A Culinary Journey. Bye, y'all. Give us the name, ready? I just love to eat a little bit of food. Brought to you in part by Mananoc Flooring and Decorating, offering quality sales, service, and installation for over 35 years on Production Avenue next to Subaru of Keene.